Just coming out of the dentist and see this little sweetheart here, 396 SS. That is a nice ride. Ready for the car show this weekend, I guess. Yes, indeed. Ready for the car show this weekend. I'm guessing it's the uh, chiropractor's car, probably. Another hot one today, boys. Uh, I got the temperature inside set at 16, but it's outside 32, so it's probably like 28 in here. And then uh, look at, got a hitchhiker. Hitchhiker, what are you doing out there? You crazy grasshopper. Hello, grasshopper. What are you doing on my hood? Bought one of these, you know, heavy duty item here that uh, filters everything, but then I needed fittings and whatnot, so I was in getting fittings, and I saw this. This item here, little $20 plastic fuel filter, and it filters water, dirty, wa dirty everything, water, dirt, and debris. So I'm going to try that, return that, save $25, plus all the fittings, plus all the headaches, and we'll see how that works. Because uh, we use that 45-gallon drum to keep gas and transfer it. Uh, here at the acreage, but I'm gonna get my ice cream in the fridge and uh, I'll show you what I need to do on the truck here the truck I, I put all kinds of stuff on the back here over the years, you know paint four fifteen, all kinds of stuff And it's still resting pretty bad that uh, trailer hitch. So I want to get some metal ready on there to uh, arrest that Ice cream ice cream DQ ice cream. This is this is non dairy Dairy Queen, because I can't eat dairy. Anyhow, I'm babbling. Let's get some uh, stuff on that rust. The metal ready is here somewhere. Metal prep. No, that's metal prep. Is that metal prep? Yeah, right. Metal prep, same thing. Uh, I should put some more in there, it's almost empty. It used to be called metal ready, but it's called metal prep, and it's a phosphoric acid solution. Best stuff in the world. Anti-rust, makes, uh, uh, Raw metal better better for welding, better conductivity. Turns rust iron oxide into iron oxide, I think is how it goes. Let's get a little tiny funnel here. Oh and my funnel my funnel uh, bucket. Funnel. Okay, don't spill it. I thought this used to be blue. It's purple. It's like purple. Just turn the lights on and off. Are the lights going on and off, or is that me? That was weird. Okay, anyways. This is from the makers of uh, Paint Over Rust 15. Pour 15, we call it. P-O-R. 15. Oh! Oh! Oops. Balls on the floor, still good. They also make this metal clean, which is a great industrial uh, grease cleaner. And uh, yeah, so all you do is just spray this on, anything, and it turns the rust into not rust. Nah. Okay. And yesterday we put that together. That's a beauty, isn't it? That is like the most incredible creeper and chair, garage chair in the world. Can I help you? Yes, you can help me. Okay, let's get it straight on. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful out here, this temperature. 32 with a breeze. Squirt, squirt, squirt. Get squirting. Come on. I'm coming out of here. All right, here it goes. So you see how it's all red? I'll spray this on, and after it dries, it'll be either the white uh, that the stuff dries to, but the actual rust should turn black. Anywhere there's, anywhere there's rust, get it a uh, silk on there. Uh, all right, on our way to competition muffler in the beautiful Bridge City, Saskatoon. We have a uh, it's cruise weekend, and this is the big, big car show weekend here in Saskatoon. 
and this one is uh, pre-day, a lot of events happening around the city. We're going to Competition Muffler where they're having a barbecue in uh, support of our son's uh, group home. Uh, group, uh, Light of the Prairies is called. And I'm bringing some, uh, some giveaways. That's uh, a box from WD-40 of three-in-one uh, lithium grease in cans, spray cans. So I'm gonna give those away to a few people. And I'm wearing my no-nonsense, no-how shirt, yeah. On the way there, we always see the big spinning onion, the uh, big ball. This is a uh, research innovation project, a new, new type of windmill. It's right across from the uh, giant Canada flag bar. It's kind of cool. And uh, yeah, it's right uh, there on the uh, horizon. Spinning ball. As we get a little closer, give you a nice close up shot. There she is in all its splitting, spinning splendor. There's also a smaller one beside it somewhere. Sorry about the bumpy road while we're driving. But uh, yeah, there's. Uh, it's a windmill of some sort. There's gonna be another type of one behind it, screw type. And uh, yeah, that thing spins when there's even a little bit of wind. It's pretty windy today, so. Back there is our potash plant. We have uh, fertilizer that we ship around the world here in Saskatchewan. Small town, but lots going on. Okay, down at the Light of the Prairie Car Show at Competition Muffler. A couple of the uh, rides. Trans Am, sweet firebird. And right next to it, a bit of a rat rod, sanded down. Oh, it doesn't look like it's cleared. Looks like it's ready to be cleared, maybe. Nice wheels on there. See tried. That Trans Am, that's a beauty. Z06 Corvette, I love it. Right next to a, maybe a 1906-ish Oldsmobile. Ubiquitous Mustang. There's a Dodge Fargo with a split hood on it. Oh, all done underneath. Cut out. Look at that. So super original, but on a uh, different rear end. Looks like the uh, chassis separated as well. It's got some 22s on there. And check that out. Totally original. Oh. She's missing, uh, missing the power plant. I think we get there. Maybe electric. This is really nice. Really nice. Is that the original power plant? Oh wow. Oh, yeah. Aftermarket original, like. Yeah. Right. Everybody's favorite right now, Bronco, original. Look at that. Very original, in and out. Top tires, of course. There's a ride right now. Everybody's loving the Broncos, of course. Super retro. What we got here? Crystal car wash, Martinsville. National Harvester, but back to the Bronco. That, that sweet ride right there. Everybody loves Broncos right now, right? And the ubiquitous Rat Rod. Rat Rod, not quite as popular as they were a few years back, but still cool enough. I see your sign. There it is. Oh, perfect. And of course, there's my boy. Cub, have you eaten yet? Should we eat? Time for hamburger? Hamburger. All right, hamburgers for Light of the Prairies. And I'm just about to eat mine. Lovely. Well, thanks, competition muffler. Wait, now my t-shirts that I just paid for. Hello there, Grizzy. I have been trying to get this gopher hole filled up for the last while. I put that in there and it seems to have uh, stopped them digging there. <laughs> I know. And then there's a big one underneath this lick, and I keep putting this lick on top of it. And uh, sorry about the shadow there. So I fill up this hole, put the lick on it. You'd think they wouldn't want to be there where the horses are licking, but they're still there. Sorry about the shadow again. And uh, what happened to us earlier was that um, 
the pump in our pump house. Oh, look at shit. Here's another hole. Look at the size of that hole. That's a, that's a leg breaker. Gotta get a shovel and fill that one in. But of course, I'll just make it again. It's part of that, part of that one over there. Part of the same housing complex, I would be guessing. Anyway, so just stick some dirt in there while I'm standing here. There we go. And then, yeah, what I was saying was, uh, this pump house uh, ran dry again, second year in a row. And uh, I think it's because the horses, somebody nibbled this plug out. See how it's kind of bent and nibbled there? Yeah, somebody has nibbled that out. And then of course it kept running and ran the pump to well dry, which uh, hopefully didn't wreck the pump, but more likely it did. So we have to change the pump again this spring, fall I mean. Uh, what I'll do this time, I think I'll plug the bottom here. There's a there's a drain here, so if I plug the bottom here, uh, even if they pop that open, then it wouldn't run it dry. And hopefully we'd notice that it's, you know, well, if it's not running, we wouldn't notice, I guess, but uh, it'd be a two-pronged scenario. What damn weeds, eh? Weeds and gophers, that's all we uh, deal with here. Check out the, yeah, here, look at this. There's a giant gopher hole. They go, they go in and out of here. I don't know why, there's no food or anything in there. But uh, I've done a couple videos on the pump shed that we have here to run our water out of our Look at that. Somebody's been excavating big time in here. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh, I'm going to need a shovel. Somebody has been working overtime in here. Excavating major amounts of dirt and sand. Alright, I better get a shovel and uh, redistribute all that sand. Oh lord. What a joke. Okay. Another job. Another job to do. Anybody been filling water tanks here? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Might as well get these going. Okay, let's get on the ATV and turn the water on. Oh, look who's waiting on the ATV. Wifey's out there with the horses. Colby's waiting on the ATV. I just put some diametaceous earth in with uh, their food. I'll show you what I did here. Not a diametaceous earth. We have diametaceous earth which we can use as well but here we bought this bag of uh, crushed oyster cells. I think they're uh, these are pretty big chunks but uh, anyways I just uh, threw some of that put a bit of that uh, in their food. Let's check it out ladies here. Hello ladies. Hello ladies. Look at the look at the uh, Look at the, the bath that one's making there. Humongous hole. That one's that was tucked right in there. But anyways, I put some of the diametaceous earth in with their food. You can see the little white bits of sprinkling in there. Let's see if they like that. What happened to the bungee cord that was here? There it is. Why is the door just kind of hanging open there? It's gonna get closed and then they're gonna. stuck out the predator comes we don't want that oh look uh, I I made the other one exit the hole so now another one's getting in there they like that they like digging that hole they may, maybe they're part gopher you guys part gopher how come you're digging such a big hole I'm gonna fill that in you guys can either start digging it again you're making you're digging your grave because you're helping a predator get halfway in there already so Maybe don't dig right there. Dig somewhere else. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. I think ever since I saw that movie, I have been saying that. All right, Cub? All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Go, we go, we go, we go, we go, we go. Are you happy? Yay. Colby says he's happy. Say it again. Happy. Happy guy. Nice, okay. Let's both ride this together. Uh, uh. 
get my leg over. All right, all right. Well, Colby's sitting behind me. Still got his pajamas on. Why? All right. Uh, oh, we'll go back. Go back. Just kind of move back a little bit so I can squeeze my big butt on. There we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Shield, Mustang Shield, Mustang Fly Shield, Mustang Shield. Over there, there we go back on. spray while you're riding <laughs> that could cause an issue somebody could go no buck buck oh hello there why such a long face Danica Let's get these stakes, put these stakes in the ground too while we're at it. Put a couple more up on the right here.
Oh, I'm getting dizzy. I'll hold you for a minute. Yep. How are you, Ralphie? You good? Are you good? Yeah. Cow dog? Oh! <laughs> what a d All right, all right, so I put one, two, three, there's four on this side now. That's plenty. And this one goes in the garbage pile. One just hanging around, doing nothing. I think I'll put this one over on that end. Right, Danny? Danny car. What are you up to? Huh? What are you doing? You just like to get run over, don't you, Danica? The uh, old pile of broken ones. We need like we need like about four more, and then be lots. If we had four more stakes, that'd be good. Oh, there's an extra one here. Here's an extra one just hanging on the fucking line. All right, we got lots of posts now. We can use just a few more. Keep the wind from flapping them, flapping the uh, tape. That's what loosens it up and breaks them. Oh. <laughs> Caught the second half of that. Good job, good job hanging on. Yeah, I mean she's been doing good with it. All right, we're getting the bike out of here because maybe that was it, I can't imagine. She hadn't done that in the last 20 times around, all of a sudden she got jumpy. Screwdriver and fence tools, and we'll put some fence things back up. All right, here's the things I need: screwdriver, screws, and a few fence 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 pieces, fence connectors. Uh, don't seem to be in there. I think they're over in there. That's his fence. We just need about 10 of them or so. Should be enough. These can be just one, two, three, four, five. They're so big, kind of unwieldy, kind of unwieldy, because they're so ginormous. Okay, throw these in this little bucket here. go. Fence junk. Never needed that until you move to an acreage. Then you need fencing supplies. There's my man waiting on me. That there. That there. Don't fall out. Back over I go. Whoop, 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 whoop. In the winter, we're going to put the uh, chicken coop inside this shed here, keep it out of the wind. And if there's electricity in there running off this wire, so we'll start down here, just run that way. A lot of moundy dirt here. I don't know if that's gophers living underground or. We got a few down that way, so let's fix that way first. Okay. All right, we'll do a close up. So 
all there is to it. Patiently. Such a good man. It's been warm up. Stay on the shirt. Garden looking nice. Uh, got a little cold though. Look at that uh, sunflower. Looks like it got a little cold hit. It was five degrees last night. Which for you American types, close to freezing. And uh, yeah, I just keep noticing that uh, not a ton of bees, not as many bees as there were in the beginning, but maybe it's because I'm always out here at uh, lunchtime. more than I thought. Nobody's working the top yet. Kind of weird. Just 
uh, still not building as much as you would think. Still working on the same frames. See? There's a couple of cross patterns there, but nothing on that side. Just a little bit of there gluing things together. Packed, but oh, it's really, really heavy, too. It's like 20 pounds or more. Oh, don't do that. Oh, look at that. So packed full of honey, but. Oh yeah, they're starting to transfer into the other one now. Wow. Oh, I can hardly lift that and hold and hold it up. I can hardly lift and hold that up so heavy. And here's a new one that I put in between. That they're now working on. one look at that just filling it with honey all capped on that side a little bit on this side they all still seem to be right in the middle there off there as I move that around and you can see that that honey there is all wet it broke when I separated those let me try to put a new frame in between those two Nobody on that one. Oops. Oh, nothing. Look at that. That's a heavy one. That's the one that's supposed to be eggs. There's a queen cell there. Looks like they're with, the, with eggs in them. I don't know if there's queen cells or just bees. Sure hope the video's on. Doesn't seem like they're laying a lot, or if anything.
hear them. Just a, just a humming. Look at them. These ones all have pollens on their pollen on their back legs. I don't really see a lot of signs of uh, laying eggs though. with pollen. Hmm, one left back with pollen. Where are you going? All right. That's it for now. That was fairly uneventful. Kind of wish there was more activity than that. All right, so we're out here picking through uh, some of the hay. It got wet. It was raining for the last couple days. And uh, oh yeah, I had uh, sprayed this day before yesterday, and yeah, check it out. So this is that uh, that POR15, and it's white because uh, that's the that's the, just the dried up phosphoric acid. Uh, but you can see a lot of the rust uh, has turned black or kind of gone away. Uh, a little bit of red still right in the seam, but uh, yeah, another coat of that probably would uh, fix it right up. But you can see all the coating of, uh, of white on there. That is uh, fixing that rust. Yeah, look around here, it was all completely surface rusted and now that's all black. So right, right down in there, that's all black now. So that's, uh, yeah, turned into iron oxide, I believe, is the chemical difference and changeover. So yeah, that worked out well. Today I had to come out and chase all these horses around and around because they were all out in the yard. Uh, but got them, all, got them all caught and now they're being fed. Just tipped this bale over with the truck. Should have caught that on video. Second time we did it without uh, videotaping it, right? Oh, well, next time. Have a good one, all.